Did you know? Bears have a biting strength of over 1200 PSI, strong enough to crush a bowling ball. Bears are typically found in North America, South America, Europe and Asia, but now can even be found on your desktop. Introducing Grizzly, a DIY bear shaped night lamp. In this video, we will be taking you on a journey to design the bear for laser cutting using Inkscape and Fusion 360. If you are interested in a step by step tutorial to make the bear, feel free to check the link in the description. Now, if you are new to this, don't worry, we will be taking you step by step through the entire process. Let's start with finding a design. Pinterest is an excellent resource for this. But you can also find inspiration from other platforms like Google Images, Instagram or even your artworks. For this tutorial, we are going to use a bare silhouette that was shown in the beginning. Next, we need to download the files. You can right click and download the images to your computer. Now, let's move on to making the SVG files. Open Inkscape and import your image. Select path and trace bitmap and experiment with the threshold value until you are happy with it. Once you are done, delete the original image and export the transparent layer as an SVG file. Repeat this process for every SVG file you have. Once you have your SVG file, it's time to import them to Fusion 360. From the insert menu, select insert then SVG and position the file in the sketch. You can also resize or rotate the image to fit your design. Like this, import every SVG file and position it accordingly. Let me do that real quick. Okay, so now we are almost done. Now we just need to trim these excess parts. So for that, I use the trim tool. Finally, let's create the DXF file. Right click on the sketch, select save as DXF and choose a location to save the file. You can now use this file with your laser cutter to create your own custom shapes. And that's it! With Inkscape and Fusion 360, you can create any custom shape you want for your laser project. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and if you did, make sure to hit that like button and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.